The United States of America is still the greatest country on earth. Sure, we've had our ups and downs, and we've been through a lot for being such a young country. But still, we enjoy a freedom designed by our founders and protected by so many cents. And we owe a small portion of our population a great amount. Hello, I'm Paul Ballmer, Navy veteran, local law enforcement officer, and vice president of the Clearwater Veterans and Tampa Bay Veterans Alliance. I'm here today to talk to you about our local veterans and what better location to do so than right here in the Armed Forces Military Museum in Largo, Florida. Among all the displays, the vehicles, the weaponry, the artifacts, it's rich with history and heritage. Approximately 7% of the American population have served or are serving in the armed forces. 1% have served in combat, maybe less. And I don't have to tell you that those who have given the ultimate sacrifice should never be forgotten. The POWs and MIAs missing in action, they certainly should not be forgotten. But what about the veterans living next door to you? The ones working with you? The ones sitting in church next to you? They shouldn't be forgotten either. Veteran service organizations such as the American Legion, the VFW, AMVETS, DAV and others, they've been an excellent venue for our veterans. Some of us feel like there's something more we want to do though. To give you a little history, back in 2005 a small group of like-minded individuals led by Marine Corps veteran and Clearwater Police Chaplain Bob Swick held a Veterans Day celebration at the Long Center. Now we had special speakers, vendors, music, the highlight was this line of march, which included each branch of the military, honor guards, marching through. It was spectacular. Now, we've grown. Most recently, in 2009, the Veterans Day celebration was held at the Philadelphia Phillies Bright House Stadium. What a turnout. We've done other things, too, for Memorial Day, Flag Day, flag-raising ceremonies. But along with our physical growth, our mission has grown as well. Here's our president, Bob Swick. Our mission is very simple. We're here to pay tribute to veterans past as well as those present. We're here to educate, educate the community about the value of, the, of what has been done by veterans and what they continue to do to promote uh, patriotism throughout our community. We're here to educate the children. Indeed, we're very close with the Boys and Girls Clubs and we're also very close with the Scouts and the JROTC organizations, in particular Clearwater's own JROTC. So we're in a simple fashion, we're here to promote the values, the experience, and the history of veterans while also bringing together their contributions to the youth so that we carry on the traditions. Thank you. Tampa Bay has a large contingency of veterans, more so than the average area in our country. And we have facilities like MacDill Air Force Base, the Coast Guard stations, the National Guard armories and reserve centers, not to mention the Veterans Administration facilities such as James Haley and Bay Pines. We're rich with resources. We at the Alliance want to bring veterans and communities together. That's really what it's all about, veterans and community. We also do partnerships with local organizations such as the Boys and Girls Clubs and the Boys and Girls Scouts of America. St. Petersburg College recently joined in. We'd like you to be a part. Sometimes people will ask me, Paul, what really can I do? Sometimes I'll respond by saying, what is it that you want to do? Because really, when it comes to helping and recognizing our veterans, we're only limited by our imagination. Keep your eyes peeled for the Clearwater Veterans Alliance, the Tampa Bay Veterans Alliance. Get connected with us on Facebook or Twitter, and check out our website at www.tampabayveteransalliance.org. Also, I want to remind you to come check out the Armed Forces Military Museum. As you can hear going on behind us, the attack on Pearl Harbor. I believe together we can take this whole thing about doing something for our veterans to another level never seen before. Thank you for your time today. God bless you and your families. God bless our veterans and God bless America.